Yo, what is up guys, this is Zero back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro here and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the bootlegger from this is the 13th June 2019 build for the Redmi Note 7 Pro and I have been using this ROM for almost 4 to 5 days now and I'll show you the like how is ROM is holding up and the flashing procedure is like pretty simplistic if you have the Peter CWRP if you don't know what I'm talking about and how to flash this ROM here is a card for you now let me quickly show you the about section over here if you go from about phone and as you can see we have the bootleggers logo up top and if you go like to the bottom we have the bootleggers version here it shows the version and the build date and stuff as you can see this is the 13th june 2019 build and if you go to the android version you can see the security patch level is latest one the june 5th 2019 and the android version is 9 pi of course and i did change the fonts that's why it's like uh, the google sans and you have the uh, like bootlegger fonts by default and you have all the customizations as you can see the customizations uh, panels are like insane we have a lot of customizations but some of them does not work yet i'll talk about them later on if you go into the battery well this is how the battery settings looks like and the battery life i would say is pretty amazing as you can see i got almost 57 minutes of screen on time even right now and if i show you the like battery stats as you can see the phone has been charged like one hour 10 minutes ago so that is how it is and i still have 92 percent battery left so the battery life is pretty like good if you go into the display settings over here we have the night light option and you can turn it on to like make the display yellowish as you can see it works let me just go back right now we have the device theme and we have lot of options from this device theme as you can see and each of them looks pretty dope and if you want a dark theme you will definitely enjoy these kind of themes like the dreams nights illusion immensity and this kind of ui themes and we can change the like colors of the accent color i mean and you can change like however you want the accent colors over here as you can see there are plenty of options for the accent colors too and if, if you go into the system font we have a lot of fonts over here not as much as like havoc OS, but yeah there are plenty of fonts you can like go to this roboto condensed if you want the bootleggers like normal font but otherwise you can choose whatever font you want right now i am using the google sans font and over here we have the ambient display option and always on while charging ambient display is there and you can go advanced and like enable this pickup hand wave etc ambient mode and the new notification ambient display stuff works fine too and double tap to wake is there so you don't need to worry about double tapping gesture stuff you can like wake up the screen by double tapping on the screen and if you go into the sound settings over here we have the like normal sound settings like also vibrate power calls and normal media call alarm in volume and notification volume adjustments and we can disable the screen locking sound charging sound etc stuff is there but there is no me audio direct or something like that as you get for the redmi note 5 pro it is not present over here and if you go into the security well i did flash this from with micro g apps open g apps and it went fine i did not need to flash any patches for this g apps and if you go into the lock screen this is how like the settings panel looks like of the lock screen stuff and if you go into smart lock as you can see we do have trusted face as i have flashed micro g apps it is present so if you want to use face unlock you can do that too let me go back again let me go to the system and advanced if you go into the shishu ota you will get this kind of bootleggers like uh, logo up top whenever there is a new update you will get it over here and you can update from the system updated as you can see it shows the bootleggers version as 4.2 stable for violet and let me just go back now let me show you the customizations panel but before that let me show you the stock launcher this is the bootleggers launcher i mean and not the launcher or quick step launcher this is a bootlegger specific launcher let me show you the launcher settings this is how it looks like you can go to miscellaneous and like enable this double tap gesture to sleep and if you do that the double tapping gesture will work fine as you can see right now if i double tap on the screen it just locks the screen as you can see anywhere you can double tap and it will lock the screen and here is the few minute scanner speed As you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is not the fastest, but it's pretty decent, I would say. As you can see, it unlocks the screen almost right away. You don't need to worry. You can swipe down anywhere, like from here, as you can see, it gets you to the quick settings panel. And as you can see, I have changed the quick setting panel toggle styles over here. And to the left, we have the Google Now cards. And of course, double tap to sleep, I just showed you already. 
but there is no like MIUI camera or Google camera installed by default so both of them you have to install manually. I did flash the ANX camera which is the ported MIUI camera and it is working fine you do not need to worry. And over here I have installed Google camera too as you can see it is working fine. I just installed the Google camera APK and for the ANX camera you have to flash it with TWRP. I'll leave the like, zip file in the description box below. So inside bootleg dumpsters we have all the customizations. If you go to the status bar we have the 4G icon and the Vaulty icon option is there too. If you are like having a Vaulty sim it will show up the Vaulty icon up there on top. And the Vaulty is working fine even with both sims you don't need to worry. And regarding the in-call UI we do have the call recording and video calling option so you don't need to worry either about those. And network traffic indicator is there. And what else? We have the display cutout settings. I don't know what it is. Alright, so this is the notch kind of settings, I think. So if you choose it to immerse, let me just do that. As you can see, it hides the notch. Let me choose it to hide. So as you can see, it just hides the like notch over here again. Let me choose it to normal again. So right now it's normal again. And we have the use framework values over here so that you can change or like set up the corners of the curves over here and we have the battery style and i have changed the battery style to android q and if you look closely you would see that the battery icon has changed to like android q and show clock and date customization and stuff like that we have over here and we have the advanced clock and date option so you can change the like date stuff and like date font and stuff like that i think and you can change even the formats from over here as you just saw and we have the status bar double tap to sleep as you can see it works and we even have this status bar brightness control as you can see it works flawlessly so you don't need to worry at all regarding the like brightness gestures over here in this room and you would have the battery bar too and quick setting panel like customizations are there you can change the like quick setting panel looks over from over here as you can see we have plenty of options for these and each of them looks pretty dope and unique i would say and over here we have quick pull down and stuff like that vibrate on toggle touch etc there you can see the customizations from the screen and hardware button customizations are there we have the screen of power button torch so if your phone is locked you can just like tap and hold the power button and it will turn up the torch you can do that again to turn it off and over here we have the volume down and stuff like that customization and this is how the like volume panel customization looks like i mean volume panel looks like you can expand it from here and customize or like control any volume panel from here as you can see and you can add more stuff from this over here ring notification you can add like each of them and if you go into the nav bar settings i have to say one thing that if you're like going over here and if you're into this edit nav part and if you swap this like uh, back and recent button this won't work so i have edited this and i have made this back button to the right side from here i think and you have to do that too because this inverse layout or something like that does not simply work over here you can enable this show pixel animation over here and you can customize or like edit the height of this navigation bar and we have the navigation gestures too so you don't need to worry and you can change the navigation mode to stock smart bar fling we have the lock screen customizations so from here you can enable the charging info and stuff and face auto unlock and fingerprint always unlock is there but this simply does not work i'll tell you why later on and if you go into the recents you can change the recent style to quick step stock grid or android go so that is pretty cool and over here we have the notification you can change the no notification led customization from here and notification ticker is there you don't need to worry and heads up you can disable it too yes let's go to the power menu we have the advanced reboot over here as you can see enable advanced reboot and you can enable whatever like stuff you want to enable in the power menu if you go into animation you can change the whole ui animations from here so no skipping on those and we have the gesture control so we have asp gestures then we have the edge gestures the like edge navigation gesture are there and it is working fine and three finger screenshot gesture is working fine too and it does not scroll so that is good and we have the gesture anywhere feature and let me just go to the bottom again and inside miscellaneous it takes a bit of time to load and as you can see uh, we have the like disabling wake up on charge option and in call vibration options are here in the miscellaneous and what else enable scaling i don't know what that does i think it's per app like scaling and we have the about bootlegger section 
so that is pretty much it regarding the customization now let me show you what's happening when you are rebooting and like trying to unlock the screen with the fingerprint scanner even when the always use fingerprint scanner option is there let me just like reboot to system the boot animation i have to say looks pretty sick over here I mean, this is one of the most amazing boot animations I have ever seen, I would say. So as you can see, after reboot, it shows us the screen to like unlock with the fingerprint scanner, as you can see. Now I'll just do that. Now as you can see, even though the phone is unlocked, it shows phone is starting forever. Like if I do not enter the pin and use the fingerprint scanner to unlock after a reboot, this is what it shows. The phone is starting. Now you can like pull the notification panel, you can go to the settings, everything works I think. As you can see, everything works, but if you just go to the home screen, this will show the phone is starting. So it, it will keep doing this like forever. So to fix that, what you need to do is to enter the pin. Right now, let me enter the pin over here. So I just entered the pin and as you can see, it unlocked and if I go to the home screen, as you can see the home screen shows up. So that is how it is, it like works but in a kind of way which does not work. I don't know how to say it. Let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the RAM management over here. Let me open File Explorer, Facebook, Twitter. YouTube. The Google Camera. Instagram, Spotify. This is the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 7 Pro here. Let's open Chrome again. The Chrome has been like removed, I think. File Explorer has been removed too. So the RAM management over here is not great at all over here, I would say. Twitter is in memory. Play Store has been removed. YouTube is in memory. Google Camera is was in memory, I think. Instagram is removed. Spotify is like in memory. Let me open all those apps once again. As you can see right now it is in memory but sometimes as you just saw that the RAM management goes bonky and like most of the apps like gets removed from memory. So that is how it is as you can see right now all the apps are in memory. So the memory management sometimes goes wonky but otherwise it's pretty fine. And talking about Google Pay, well Google Pay is working fine over here. And you don't need to worry about any banking apps. I think all the banking apps should be working fine right out of the box over here. Now let's talk about one more thing that is the random reboots. Well, it, it's not happening like at all over here while like day to day usage unless and until you try to download a torrent with the uTorrent app. So once you start downloading a torrent with the uTorrent app, after some time, the phone totally freezes and it does a random reboot. Like it just freezes and does a reboot automatically. So it happens every time when I like use the uTorrent app. It does not happen with any other apps. And regarding the sound output via the headphone jack and even the like Bluetooth, the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth both are super fine. You do not need to worry about the quality. It is flat and it is pretty amazing to like listen to music in this ROM. You don't need to worry about like any kind of like bad sound quality on this ROM even though there is no like audio direct present over here in this ROM. And here is the end to score of this ROM. So that is pretty much it guys regarding the bootleggers ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let me know how do you guys feel about this bootleggers ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And it has this pretty cool wallpaper. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.